my life I've been a symbol. I'm tired of being a symbol, Chancellor. I long to be a human being. She settled in New York, eventually buying a seven-room apartment on East 52nd Street. In the same building lived George Schley, a Russian-born millionaire who was her closest companion for 20 years. It was an unusual liaison, for Schley was married to designer Valentina and split his time between the two. In 1949, it was announced that Garbo would appear with James Mason in her first color film, an historical drama directed by Max Ophels. This black and white screen test was made, but at the last minute the financing collapsed. Garbo was heartbroken, and the world never got to see the blue-eyed Garbo on screen. The Garbo we have glimpsed for the last five decades is a stolen figure spied upon by paparazzi, hiding behind dark glasses. She hobnobbed with a jet set, sailed with Aristotle Onassis on his yacht. Garbo's friends learned that they must adhere to her code of secrecy or risk banishment. She was devastated when Cecil Beaton published his diaries containing intimate details of their affair. She was not present at the 1954 Academy Awards when she was given an honorary Oscar for her lifetime work. Nominated four times for Romance, Anna Christie, Camille, and Anochka, she never won. But her fascination with Garbo never ceased. She could be spotted wandering Madison Avenue, browsing in antique stores, but rarely buying anything. The last time Garbo gave an extensive interview was in 1928. Your joys and sorrows, you never can tell them, she said. You cheapen yourself, the inside when you tell them. Everything she had to give, she gave to the camera. The rest was silence, exile, and the cunning preservation of her own mystique. Greta Garbo died on Easter Sunday, April 15, 1990, at age 84. She left us as she had lived, silently, keeping her secrets until the end. Perhaps Garbo knew all along that the best way to guarantee her immortality was to cloak her life in mystery. Intimacy is for mortals. Garbo has transcended the fickleness of fashion by always remaining just beyond our grasp. There was something timeless in her beauty. As the critic Kenneth Tynan wrote, what when drunk one sees in other women, one sees in Garbo sober. What does it matter who the real woman is? Garbo is no more than a creation of light and shadow. But onto that incredible image, we continue to project our deepest fantasies and desires. Lovely, never, never change. Keep that breathless charm. Won't you please arrange it? Cause I love you just the way you look tonight. Just the way you look tonight. She was the movie's grandest illusion.